everyone. I've got a book review for you today. It's Phasma by Delilah Dawson. Um, I started reading this right before I saw The Last Jedi. Um, and I'd wanted to read it for a while just because I wanted to know more about Phasma because she seemed like such a cool character in The Force Awakens and in the marketing and then we didn't see too much of her. So I was looking for some cool backstory. And I was kind of reading it with the mindset of, okay, I might find out some really cool things about her and then just be more mad that she wasn't shown more even in The Last Jedi. So... I mean, but this book just dragged. Oh my gosh. I can speed read through a book probably in like two days normally, but this was just so monotonous. And I mean, overall, it was an interesting tale if I, you know, if I think about it from beginning to end. And there's some cool stuff in there, nothing hugely detrimental to the story of Star Wars. I mean, there's a pretty good detail at the end, but whether or not it actually matters in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it does. Um... Okay, so basically the quick plot of the book, non-spoiler, is a spy from the Resistance is captured by the First Order, and there's an officer on the ship called the Cardinal who is jealous of Phasma, wants to find out as many details as he can about her to bring her down and discredit her. So he is torturing this spy for information, and this spy actually knows Phasma's backstory pretty well. So throughout the book, she actually is slowly giving him details of information about Phasma just for the purpose of manipulating this guy, hoping to actually turn him to the side of the resistance. So we do find out, you know, Phasma's backstory, how she grew up, how she got off planet, how she joined the First Order, how she rose to power, um, what she did and the things she did to get to power is pretty diabolical. Um, but that's basically the gist of it. So I am actually going to go into full spoilers now for those of you that don't have the patience to read the book or maybe you're in the middle of the book and you're just like, oh my gosh, is this ever going to end? Okay, so like I said, the Resistance spy is captured on the ship. We find out as she's telling the story to the Cardinal that Phasma grew up on a planet that was once thriving but suffered some type of disaster where there's tiny little splinters of tribes all over this planet fighting for survival, fighting for power, fighting for resources. And Phasma is at the top of her tribe along with her brother. And they are doing everything they can to keep their tribe surviving. Um, she's very loyal to them and she's willing to do anything it takes to keep her tribe safe. We see that she's already an amazing fighter, an amazing warrior. Um, what changes everything is when Brendel Hux, um, General Hux, the one we see in The Force Awakens and in The Last Jedi, it's his father. His ship crashes on the planet and he's separated from the wreckage and needs to get back to it to call for help and to call for rescue. So her tribe, through a series of circumstances, has Brendel Hux. He's older, he's overweight, he's unhealthy, he's selfish, he's needy. <laughs> and he's doing everything he can to convince this primitive tribe to help him get back to the crash ship so they can call for help. Phasma's tribe does not want to do that. They just kind of want to stay in their safe little bubble, you know, fighting for survival. And but Phasma realizes what a chance this is. He kind of manip Brendel kind of manipulates her into promising her things um, because he recognizes what a strong person she is. So Phasma actually breaks from her tribe, takes a couple of I think like five or six warriors with her. And Brendel Hux and his like maybe four stormtroopers, I don't remember how many are there that survived the crash. Um, and she basically takes them and helps them get from the tribe to where the ship is. And it takes, I think, a couple of weeks. There's, you know, other tribes they come into contact with. There's dangerous elements they come into contact with. One by one, all the tribe members that Phasma is traveling with, they all die except for one. Um, and Phasma's tribe is actually so furious that she left and like disagreed and disobeyed with what the tribe decided. They're actually hunting them down the whole time, but you don't find that out till the very end of the book. So at the very end of the book, um, we realize that um, the only people that are left are Phasma, Brendel Hux, and there's this one survivor who's a female, who's a warrior, and she's actually pregnant. And she thinks Phasma's gonna take her along with her um, off planet. Um, but at the very end, Phasma's tribe shows up, basically kills everybody except for those three people. And um, yeah, it's Phasma ends up killing her brother because her brother's one of the tribe members that you know is chasing after them. Their her whole tribe gets wiped out. So basically, there's no living person who shows who knows anything about Phasma, how she grew up. 
and she basically realizes that you know there's a better life for her out there and that she's willing to do whatever it takes including killing her whole her whole tribe um, to get off planet and to do something different with her life. It's like her whole, you know, her she's lived in a box all her life and then she realizes there's this huge world out there that she can conquer because she's very strong-willed. Um, and now the one tribe member that's left who survives the attack from the tribe at the end, right when they're getting to the wreckage of the ship, um, she faltered during the battle and didn't want to kill people or something like that. And so Phasma basically told her, you're not worthy enough to come with me and Brundle. So she just leaves her there. She doesn't kill her, she just leaves her there on the planet. And so the spy that is telling this whole story to the Cardinal, that one survivor is the one that relayed all the information to the captured resistance spy. So that's how we know this whole story. Uh, so Phasma basically joins the First Order. She gets back to the First Order with Brendel Hux. He basically tells the Cardinal, hey, I found this chick off planet, she's pretty awesome, we're putting her in charge, you're demoted, and the Cardinal gets pissed. And But Phasma just really wants power and control and manipulation, and she knows Brendel Hux saw her, how she grew up, he saw her primitive beginnings, and for whatever reason, she does not want him alive. So there's this beetle that is on her planet that if you get bitten, it basically like, liquefies and cooks your organs and you die um, and it's she basically sneaks a beetle off planet and months after she joins the first order or years I don't even remember the time frame to be honest um, she gets the beetle to Hux and that's how he dies he starts wasting away from this mysterious illness you know doctors and medical droids can't figure out what's wrong with him and he basically liquefies and just completely disintegrates in a back to tank and that's how he dies so the cardinal realizes that phasma actually murdered um brendel hux and so <clears throat> yeah at the very end of the book he takes that information and confronts uh, general hux about it hey this is how your dad died phasma was behind it and he's basically like yeah dude i don't care because she killed him for me, and now I'm in charge. <laughs> so poor Cardinal, it completely backfired. Phasma and him fight. The Cardinal loses. He's stabbed. He's bleeding out. The resistance spy that he's been tortured. He kind of let her go after she told him the whole story and basically said, okay, I'm going to let you go, but you got to get off the ship on your own. So she basically comes back, saves the Cardinal, gets him off the ship, and it's her plan to, like, rehabilitate him and turn him into you know, a fighter for the resistance. So that's basically the book. Um, sorry, I was talking kind of fast, but yeah, so I read it so you don't have to. <laughs> okay, so overall score for this book. Oh boy, I am gonna have to go, um, I'm gonna say like 4.5 out of 10. I mean, overall, I mean, the pacing was slow. I mean, the writing style was good. It was easy to follow along. There weren't like a bajillion characters where I'm trying to keep them all straight in my head. So, I mean, it wasn't a complicated story. It was just kind of boring, to be honest. But regardless, it gave us some interesting tidbits about Phasma, how she grew up, and, you know, her character. Like I said, if anything, it made me more disappointed that we didn't see more of her in The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. So, yeah. I mean, other than that, that's all I got for you. <laughs> So, all right. Okay, so chime in on the comments. Tell me what you think. Um, did you like Phasma? What's the rating you would give it? And, um, yeah, that's about it. All right, if you like watching movie reviews, trailer reactions, and Star Wars content, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye.